Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to review a couple of really fun new nail polishes that I picked up from Sephora. These two nail polishes are by the brand called Nails Inc. and they are part of the floral nail polish collection. So these nail polishes are pretty interesting. The color on the left has little tiny blue speckles with blue tinsel glitters with big pastel pink flowers. And as for the nail polish on the right, it is also filled with the same chunky flowers except there are three different colors. There is red, pink, and then white flowers. And then instead of tinsel glitter, the pink nail polish is actually filled with light pink speckles. The nail polish on the left is called Queensgate Gardens, and then the color on the right is called Daisy Lane. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the nail polish. Here's what the color Queensgate Garden looks like right outside the bottle. So let's go ahead and start painting. Here's a close up of my nails after the first coat of the nail polish and right off the bat I got a pretty even coverage with the tinsel speckles but the flower itself is kind of interesting because the flower is so large it actually looks kind of awkward on my nails. If you look closely you can see that the edges of the flowers actually do not stay flush onto my nails because my nails are kind of curved and the flower is very flat. So now let's go ahead and finish painting the rest of our nails and we'll get back together to see how it turns out. Here's how my nails turned out after the first coat of nail polish. And as you can probably already tell, my ring finger was not lucky enough to catch a flower, but to be honest with you, I don't really mind. I kind of like how sporadic this nail polish is, and my favorite part is I'm in love with how the pink pops on my blue base. So now let's go ahead and move on to our other nail polish and as you can see it took me some time to actually do a little bit of digging in the nail polish to actually catch a flower. I didn't really have this trouble with the blue nail polish so the pink one is a little bit more difficult to get the flowers out. But nonetheless here's the close up of Daisy Lane. Here's a close up of how my pinky nail turned out with the color Daisy Lane. So far I must say that I love the effect that this nail polish gives. It actually kind of reminds me of a cherry blossom. Now let's go ahead and finish painting the rest of our nails and we'll get back together to see how it turns out. So as you can see here on my index finger I actually caught two flowers and I decided to take the moment to try to move around the flower a little bit and as you can see that wasn't so difficult so as long as you move quickly you can actually maneuver your flowers around pretty easily. So with these nail polishes, you can most definitely get away with just having the first coat of nail polish, but I decided to try on a second layer just to see how it would turn out. Here's how my nails turned out after the second layer of nail polish. So what do you guys think about this nail polish so far? Personally, I must say that I'm really digging this nail polish. I love the fun chunky flowers and I love the fun and sporadic tinsel and speckled glitters in the background.
Now moving on to our right hand, let's go ahead and try to see what this nail polish looks like with the second layer. And as you can see, I started off with my middle finger this time because I saw that I caught a flower right off the bat, so I decided to take advantage of that and put it on the finger that did not have a flower. And here's how my nails look after the second coat of nail polish. So after examining it a little bit closely, I noticed that my middle finger and pinky finger did not have as many speckles as my other two fingers. So I went back and added just a little bit more so that it could have the same speckledness as the rest of my nails. So here are my nails next to their corresponding bottles of nail polish. As for my final thoughts on these two nail polishes, I must say that I highly recommend giving these two guys a try. They're super fun and perfect for spring. The color on the right, my favorite part is that the pink really pops on my blue base. And then as for the color on the left, my favorite part of this nail polish is that it reminds me a lot of cherry blossoms blooming or blowing in the wind. The only opportunity that comes to mind for me about this nail polish is that the flowers can be a little tricky. They don't always come out when you need them, so it does take a little bit of patience when using this nail polish, but I must say that if you have the patience to try it, that it's definitely worthwhile. So that actually takes us to the end of my review. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and if you did, please do give me a thumbs up. Also, please leave a comment below letting me know which nail polish you guys liked better. I hope to see you guys again soon in the later video. Bye everyone!